The unrest in Detroit had escalated quickly, as had similar outbreaks around the country. The response was equally swift. In Michigan, Governor George Romney called in the National Guard. Nationally, President Lyndon Johnson appointed an 11 member advisory commission on civil disorders aimed to identify the root causes. It was chaired by Illinois Governor Otto Kerner. After a seven month investigation, the Kerner Commission's conclusions were devastating. Our country was deeply divided between black and white, unequal, unstable, unfair. The last surviving member of the Kerner Commission is former Oklahoma Senator Fred Harris, now 86 years old. Why did President Johnson want to start the commission? Well, we were having these terrible uh, disorders, riots all over the country. The worst were, of course, in Detroit and Newark. Nobody knew how it was going to end and whether it would be a kind of a continuing thing. Was it a harbinger of things to come. And so uh, he said, I want you to say what happened, why did it happen, and what can be done to keep it from happening again and again. What we found in the Kern report was, as for example here in Detroit or uh, in, other, in other cities, conditions were so horrible and the relations between the police and the people in these uh, central cities were so awful that almost any random spark could uh, uh, ignite this uh, kind of disorder, and that's what happened. The Kerner Commission report, you could read this today and right. apply it to cities like Baltimore, Ferguson, even here in Detroit. That's right. Any major metropolitan area, frankly. Same exact problems we're dealing with in America. That's a sad thing. The, we made progress on uh, almost every aspect of race and poverty for about 10 years uh, after the Kerner report. And then it be, uh, progress stopped. And in many ways, we began to go backward. So uh, the same thing about the police. We were against militarization of the police. We thought that automatic rifles and tanks and so forth didn't have any uh, business being in an urban situation. And we thought that the police ought to be community police, that they ought to be members of the community, not enforcing the law against the community, but for the community. And we made progress in that regard for a good while. Do you think there's been a cost of ignoring the recommendations of the Kerner Commission? Yes, there, there certainly has. A big cost? We ought to be investing heavily in infrastructure and in education, particularly early uh, ed uh, childhood education. We ought to be seeing that people have jobs. Health care, for example, looked like for a while we'd made some real progress and now we may be moving backward. But I think what we've got to do is help people to see that these problems are with us. In some ways, they're worse. And, uh, and we've got to uh, take action because it's in our own interest to do so. The most famous words, probably the core of the, of the report was, our nation is moving toward uh, two societies, one white, one black, separate and unequal. Is that still true today? It's still true. We'd say one white, one black, and Hispanic today, and other minorities, separate and unequal. And it's grown that way again.